Hello, and thank you so much for joining us. We're inviting you to step back in time about 700 years to enjoy one of the most interactive shows ever created. It's time again for the Arizona Renaissance Festival, and the one and only Lord of Leftovers, the Earl of Duke, is back again with us to share the details. Thanks for time traveling here to the year 2020. Well, I've heard that your 2020 is the most troublesome time, yeah. and I wish to offer them escape into a fantasy, into a world of knights and beautiful ladies and fine food and shopping. Oh, that sounds <laughs> wonderful, considering everything that's going on these days, like you said. So we get to escape a little bit. We get to meet uh, great people like you. So you're the Lord of Leftovers. How did you get that nickname? Oh, well, you see, I am, um, uh, it's a little embarrassing. You see, I angered the king <laughs> and he said, you're useless. I can't stand you. You're, ugh. I call you the Lord of Leftovers. You must work in the feast hall with a nasty Scotsman and provide great entertainment to the, all those guests who enter there within. But you get to put on the pleasure feast for us, oh, right? I do a delicious five course meal mm. with belly dancers, bagpipers, Morris dancers, and of course, me. And you. <laughs> the best part, arguably. <laughs> and so, I mean, the Renaissance Festival really is not only just the pleasure feast, the characters, but there's so much to see, right? If someone's never been before, what can they expect when they go? Well, it's amazing. We have mermaids and jousters. And by the way, someone asked me if the jousting was fake. I've seen the bruises. Those are <laughs> not real. fake. Yeah. <laughs> there are jugglers who will laugh and tell you jokes, sword fighters, whip masters, uh, games. It, it, it overwhelms the eye. You could spend a full day just seeing shows or a full day just shopping amazing things you can do. And just filling ourselves with all the food and all the drink that we can muster. And so there's a lot of different uh, elements to the Pleasure Feast this year. You mentioned it a little bit, but different types of cuisine, right? Well, this year we are doing a Spanish theme. Mm. And we have a delicious Spanish dessert. We have lamb and chicken done with peaches and pears and fruits and all sorts of marvelous things. I haven't memorized the whole menu yet, I'm sorry. That's okay, <laughs> we'll go and see it and, and we'll order what we like. And so April's Flowers, the Langer's Ball, just part of the uh, entertainment, right? Talk about some of the other acts that people can see. Oh, well, one of my favorite acts is Hey Nanny Nanny. <laughs> they are a pair of nuns who, uh, just basically take you to the Lord in an amusing way rather than Ooh. so heavily handed as it sometimes are. Mm. Oh, and then we of course have a sword swallower who does amazing things. That is belly balance that they see upon their screen now. They are amazing performers in the acrobatics and also extremely funny. So much entertainment. Oh, and there we are just walking down the street. How marvelous yeah, that is. It's good for the whole family, right? Bring the kids, but bring a lot of energy too because it's going to be a long day. But I always suggest arrive as early as you can before the gate even opens. Partly because if you're having a good time, mm -hmm. you can't make the day longer if you're later in the day. We throw you out eventually. You know, that's just how that is. Yeah. But you arrive early in the morning, you beat the, best, the worst of the traffic and can do all sorts of amazing things. That's the village that's in a Terribly entertaining place. Oh, turkey leg, mm. Mm, my competition. That's what I want. I must admit, the f pleasure feast is what we shall call body. Okay. I would say not for the in commoners. Your language, you know, not that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't actually say anything that bad, but we do make a little. Mm, All right. right. So use a little discretion. Yes, of the pleasure right, the feast. Kids. But everyone else is pretty much family friendly. And if you see a little loose cannon next to the show, that means your kids probably won't get the jokes. Okay, <laughs> that's good. It's good to have jokes that are just adults will get, right? Yes. Um, other advice for people who have never been to make the most of it? I would say one of my biggest pieces of advice is to bring cash, because there's hmm. an amazing number of things <laughs> that you might want to buy. And yes, they do take the little plastic magic of your time, mm -hmm. uh, but you can sort of contain how much you spend, because it's very easy oh, in I the bet. joys of a day sometimes to come home and go, I did what? <laughs> yeah. And I do not want the people, because I, I want them to return. I do not want them to live in fear of this. Oh, and, and there's more sword swallowing, which yes. looks really painful. I'm sure there's been a couple accidents over the centuries with over sword the swallowing, centuries, right? But it's amazing how few there are, and they never hurt themselves, barely balanced. They did, they're and astounding. Comfortable shoes is comfortable something you say shoes, is important. I would suggest sunscreen, a hat of a wide mm -hmm. brim, but most of all, bring your childishness. Bring your childishness. Come and play, because what we have. Some people call it a circus, but I call it a playground. Because at the circus, you... <laughs> yeah, but there, this you get to interact. You get to interact. You may meet some strange character. There's an, 
an insulter there who, if you pay him a small coin, he will say the most horrifying things. Oh, to who wouldn't love that? And we have a coupon too, a couple of them it looks like, for, for the different times that you can go. And by the way, give us the dates just so people remember. That's on February there, 8th to March 29th with President's Day as the only weekday available. $27 to get in and $75 for the pleasure feast. Mm, a nice uh, long day, a nice long window for you to go. Maybe you can go more than once. If you don't spend too much the first time, exactly. maybe you saved a little for the next time. The Lord of Leftovers, the Earl of Duke, always a pleasure to see you. Thanks for being here. And a pleasure to see you. Cheers. And you can catch the Arizona Renaissance Festival from February 8th to Mar March 29th on Saturdays, Sundays, and President's Day Monday. For more information, visit arizona.renfestinfo.com or call 520-463-2600.